Only on two. She's the only person in the world who has no sense of touch, pain, or temperature. Kim Stanger is taking part in experiments at the University of Chicago with a neuroscientist determined to help Kim and the world understand her condition. Kim spoke to CBS 2 Suzanne Lemigno exclusively in her first television interview. This one? Yes. Kim Stinger from Cleveland, Ohio, has a condition called complete sensory neuropathy. I've always kind of been on a journey to understand myself, you know, because my disability is, is so rare. University of Chicago neuroscientist Peggy Mason has been on that journey with Stinger. The pair met in 2014. Since 2017, Mason has been doing experiments with Stinger to uncover the cause of her condition. My life is, is arguably re organized around Kim. I remember it started when I would be laying in bed and one of my cats would jump up and I th I'd think, you know, she couldn't detect that. Stenger was diagnosed with the condition at birth. Doctors thought she would be in a vegetative state. She proved everyone wrong. I have my uh, JD, um, my law degree, and I currently work at our, uh, at the, the county prosecutor's office. and. I do um, criminal law uh, research and writing. I had to, you know, work hard to prove everyone else wrong and show my my true worth, or my my value. Stenger and Mason have developed an incredible bond. So much so, Stenger says, next to her family, her relationship with Mason is the most meaningful in her life. She's helped me find answers to questions that I've had for over 40 years. Kim has taken part in a number of experiments here at the Institute for Translational Medicine at the University of Chicago. Among those experiments, one that really surprised Kim and the neuroscientist doing the research, it involved putting electrodes on Kim's arms. She feels something and there's a gross localization she doesn't have this in her, her legs. We tried her legs and she doesn't, she, she feels nothing on the legs. Stenger says if she had a choice, she wouldn't change one thing about her life. She says her condition has allowed her to thrive and achieve all she has today. Suzanne Lemigno, CBS 2 News. Wow, a documentary is being made by the Institute for Translational Medicine about Stenger's life. To learn more about that, log on to cbschicago.com is truly incredible it and is. it's so great that she's willing to share this with us and so optimistic and yeah. successful it's, Absolutely. it's really she's quite an inspiration